In this video, I will give you the best WhatsApp chatbot tools in 2025. And for each of them, I will give you the pros, the cons, the pricing, and most important, which one is best in what scenario. Because some are good at marketing automation, others are good at customer support and AI. The question is, which one is best for you? And this is not a bogus affiliate review. This is my review based on my hands-on experience with using over 200 platforms and reviewing 50 of them on my website and these are actually the platforms that I recommend to my own clients as well so let's start with the first one and that is ManyChat so ManyChat is great for marketing automation and customer support on WhatsApp. And you can also create a chatbot on Facebook, Instagram, SMS, email, and even Telegram. And what makes ManyChat so good is that it is so easy to use. Like they offer a very simple interface and they offer a flow builder so you can create your chat automations in minutes and whether you want to use ManyChat for marketing automation or customer support you can basically do both so ManyChat is great for lead generation and getting customers because you can send out whatsapp broadcasts you can set up message sequences you can set up rules you can even do a b testing but whenever you want to use it for customer support you can do that as well because with ManyChat you can basically automatically reply to questions and whenever the chatbot doesn't know the answer to a question you can basically hand over the conversation to an agent using the built-in live chat of ManyChat. And if you want to take it one step further, ManyChat also has an AI add-on. And this gives you access to, for example, an AI intent and an AI flow builder assistant. And likewise, you can also connect ManyChat to other applications using Zapier or Make. They also offer a few direct integrations, but not that much. And ManyChat has a free plan. So this gives you access to the basic features of ManyChat up to a thousand contacts. And their pro plan already starts at $15 a month. And that gives you access to all the features of the platform. And that scales with the number of contacts that you have. So I think for like 2000 contacts, you pay around like $25 a month. So again, I think this is like really affordable. So if you're interested in creating a WhatsApp bot with ManyChat, I actually have a video on my YouTube channel that will probably appear over here. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend checking out that video. But there are also a few drawbacks of ManyChat. So with ManyChat, you need to create separate messages per channel. So if you want to create a chatbot and publish that on multiple channels, there could be better solutions for you. Then also, if you want to create a chatbot and have that in multiple languages, you need to translate these languages yourself. And then the last drawback is the AI add-on. Like they offer an AI add-on, this gives you access to the AI features, but these can be a bit limited, especially the AI step. And that actually brings us to the next platform, which is Chatbase. Chatbase is great if you want to get started with AI on WhatsApp. And this is basically where Chatbase is really good at. You can basically train a chatbot on your data, such as your website or documents about your business. And then it can immediately answer questions about that data within minutes. And this is so great about Chatbase, like they offer a very easy to use interface. It's like easy to use, very simple to use. You can basically just upload a bunch of documents and your chatbot is created within minutes. And I think what makes Chatbase better than the rest is that you can also improve the answers of the AI. So you can basically have a conversation with your chatbot and then you can see the answers that it gives. And if you think you need to improve the answer, you can basically click on revise answer and then you can basically improve the answer. And then the next time someone asks the same question, it will actually use the improved answer. So Chatbase has a free plan and that allows you to test out their platform and their first pay plan is like $19 a month. So again, this is really affordable. But there are also a few drawbacks of Chatbase. Like Chatbase is really good at one thing. It's really good at training a chatbot on your data and then answering questions about it. But that's also the only thing that Chatbase is good at. Like they don't have a built-in live chat, you cannot create custom chatbot flows and they don't do anything with marketing automation. So if you're looking for for a platform with those features and also have a good connection with ChatGPT, and maybe you also want to launch it on multiple channels, then you should have a look at UChat. So just like ManyChat, UChat also has a flow builder and a pretty easy to use interface. And I think what makes UChat so great is that you can basically create one chatbot and then publish that across many channels. It's not that you need to create separate messages per channel, it's just one chatbot, 
publish that on 10 channels or even more. And just like ManyChat, they are good at marketing automation and are also good at customer support. So like all the stuff that we could do with ManyChat, like sending broadcasts, setting up sequences, having rules, like doing A-B testing, all of that stuff is also possible with UChat and it's also good for customer support. So you can basically use their platform to automatically reply to questions and whenever the chatbot doesn't know the answer to a question, you can use the built-in live chat to hand over a conversation to an agent. So with UChat, you can basically create a chatbot and publish that on many channels, including WhatsApp, Facebook, your website, Fiber. like they offer so many channels, it's almost insane. And what also makes UChat really good is that they offer a lot of direct integrations with other apps. So I think they offer over 50 direct integrations and that allows you to connect your chatbot to your existing tech stack and likewise they also offer a very good integration with chat gpt and just like many chat and chat base you chat is also very affordable so they offer a free plan that allows you to use their platform and uh, if you want to go to the pay plan that already starts at 15 dollars a month but there are also a few drawbacks of you chat like it is really good it has a lot of features it has many channels but as a beginner that can also be a bit overwhelming. Like it's pretty easy to use platform like once you get to know it, but it's not as easy to use as ManyChat or ChatBase. So basically if you're like a small business or you just want to create a few simple automations, maybe UChat is not the right fit for you. And the other drawback is that with UChat, like UChat has a pretty good integration with ChatGPT, but they don't offer any built-in AI. So if you're looking for a platform that has build an AI and many AI features, then you should have a look at BotPress. So BotPress is really good for advanced AI support chatbots. And this is what BotPress is mainly good at. They offer so many AI features. Like with BotPress, you can create an AI knowledge base. You can use intents and entities. You can automatically translate messages. You can tune your messages so that they match a certain personality. You can automatically summarize conversations. You can even understand images with AI. Like there's so many things that you can do with BotPress and that's what makes it so great. Like all the AI features that they basically have out of the box. And by the way, if you're looking to create a WhatsApp chatbot with BotPress, I actually have a video on my YouTube channel that explains that. So if you're interested in that, check out the video that probably appears over here. So just like you, Chad, you can also create one chatbot and then publish that across many channels with BotPress. And they also offer a live chat feature, which allows you to hand over a conversation to an agent. But this feature is only available on the $495 a month plan. That being said, BotPress offers a very good free plan and you can basically tune the pay plan to match your needs specifically. So you can buy like these add-ons and these already start at $5 a month, which is pretty cheap. But I think the main drawback of BotPress is that it is less beginner friendly. Like they also offer a flow builder, but I think in general, like it is a more technical platform. So it's not as easy to use like as many chat or you chat. And I think another drawback is that if you want to connect BotPress to Facebook and Instagram, that's even more technical because you need to create a meta developer app. That's like all of that technical stuff. That's basically not always what you want. So if you don't have any experience with like that developer kind of thing, then BotPress might not be the right fit for you. And that brings us to the next platform, which is FreshChat. And FreshChat is actually not ideal for creating chatbots, but this is just a very affordable solution for large customer support teams because you only pay $15 per agent per month. And that's actually pretty cheap. And this platform gives you a lot of handy features for customer support team. You have like automatic rules, you have like conversation routing, you have automatic translation of messages when you just send a message via the live chat. Like that's the kind of stuff that FreshChat offers. So with FreshChat, you can create a chatbot and publish that across six channels, including WhatsApp. And they also have a built-in AI feature that allows you to automatically reply to questions from your customers. And like Wise, it also has integrations with over 400 apps so you can easily connect your chatbot to your existing tech stack. But I think there are also two drawbacks of 
fresh yet. I think the first drawback is that like the interface for creating chatbots is not that easy to use. It's a kind of flow builder, but you basically need to know it pretty good in order to create chatbots. And especially if you want to create larger chatbots, like Freshet is definitely not the right option here. And the second drawback is that some of the features are hidden in the interface. So it can take a while before you fully understand their platform. So if you're looking for a platform that's easier to use and also good for large customer support teams, then you should have a look at Intercom. And I actually recommend Intercom for enterprise companies or for SaaS companies. So with Intercom, you can create a chatbot and then publish that across five channels, including WhatsApp. And with Intercom, you can create your own chat automations using their flow builder, but you can also use their built-in AI feature. So with the AI feature, you can basically train your chatbot on your own data, and then the chatbot can automatically answer questions about that data. And whenever the chatbot doesn't know the answer, you can basically hand over the conversation to one of the agents because they also offer a built-in live chat. And I think what also makes Intercom really good is that you can also use it for marketing automation. So you can send out WhatsApp broadcasts, but they also offer many things for on your website. So they offer banners, they offer product tours, they offer series. So you can do pretty advanced marketing automation with Intercom. I think there are just three main drawbacks of Intercom. Like the first one is that at the beginning, it can be a bit overwhelming. Like they have many features and the interface can be a bit overwhelming to use. Some of the features are a bit hidden so you need to get used to using intercom the second thing is that intercom isn't good for small and sometimes even medium businesses because their first plan start at 39 dollars per agent per month and their next plan starts at 99 dollars per agent per month, which could be a bit expensive, especially for small and sometimes even medium businesses. And the last thing is that another drawback of Intercom is that you need to pay $1 per AI agent resolution. So basically whenever the AI agent answers a question of your customer and basically solves the conversation, then you need to pay $1. And I think this is a little bit odd because you already pay for Intercom like for the platform and then you need to pay extra for the AI agent. And that's just a little bit weird because especially if you compare that with the cost of like ChatGPT and it's probably built on top of ChatGPT, then it's just the costs are like pretty high. But yeah, again, for large customer support teams, like it's still cheaper than a human doing that, but still it seems a little bit odd to me. But that's it. Those are the best WhatsApp chapel tools in 2025. And now that you know them, the next step is to create your first WhatsApp automation. So check out this video to learn how.